Halloween is just days away and it's time for kids to look forward that the kids look forward to all year. But many parents can dread it as they try to keep track of their little ones. But thanks to technology, that job is a little easier if you have a smartphone. WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News reporter Katie Shambo joins us now live to explain in this story that's new at 10. Katie. Jordan, losing track of your children is a fear for every parent, especially on nights like Halloween. But I caught up with a local tech expert who has some high-tech ways to put your mind at ease. Jeremiah Coggins sells smartphones for a living and knows how to make them work for you, especially at Halloween. Trick or Tracker app is a great application. Parents can set up zones. Coggins says a similar app, Life360, can keep you in close contact with your kids. Life360 is one where it allows you to track and keep up with your kids. It also allows you to, for them to send you distress messages. Most parents I spoke with hadn't heard of these apps. But like the idea. I think that would be awesome because my daughter is getting ready to get into the teenage years and she may think it's being a helicopter dad or whatever, but I want to know where she's at all the time. I feel more safe and protected with that, knowing that. Adrian Roden says she already uses a tracking app for her daughter. Oh, it makes me feel 100% safe because my daughter, she's 16 years old and I love knowing where she's at at all times. Coggins says Kids ID is another one that can help parents should the unthinkable happen. Parents can load up a picture of their child, profile, blood type, allergies, things like that, uh, and if something happens, they can load it directly to the law enforcement database. Roden says in addition to her tracking app, she'll be looking into app Kids ID. That's awesome because I actually have a child that has a lot of allergies. so. That actually works out great. Coggins says apps like these are made to make life easier for parents year round. It allows them to kind of have a safer set of mind. You know, it's much easier to keep up with your kids. In North Jackson, Katie Shambo, WBBJ7 Eyewitness News. Coggins tells us on average he sees children getting smartphones around the ages of eight or nine. He says if parents have questions about these types of apps, they can contact their cell phone provider.